And I made it into Pisa. But thankfully there's a plaque there that said that um, it once held the relic of the crown of thorns. It's no longer there, but super, super interesting. I also can't go in because it looks like they're having like a photo shoot or a wedding shoot inside, but kind of cool. You guys, I have made it. It is right there. Really, really tall, and unfortunately, you can't really tell how much it's actually leaning. It's quite a lot. All right, here I am at the Torre Pendente de Pisa, or the Leaning Tower of Pisa. It is a freestanding. Uh, bell tower and it actually has almost a four degree lean. The tower was actually built or it was starting to be built in the 12th century and it took 200 years to build and within that time the tower started sinking because the foundation was not stable and so that is what makes it world famous. I honestly didn't realize how beautiful the tower is. It's like covered in marble and so so beautiful. It's also the third oldest building here in the city. It's so weird to be here, it's so fun. To the tower and originally I wasn't planning on it because it's expensive it's 18 euros but with 18 euros you get to go up to the tower and then also visit the cathedral but there's three other monuments here they have a museum they have the baptistry and the compositino something like that so I decided bite the bullet go up to the tower and I also picked one monument and then my ticket guy told me that the compository composite Nato is the best one, so spend a little bit more, but I'm going to see a little bit more, so it'll be cool. If you go up to the tower, you're not allowed to bring any bags in, but they do have a bag hold that's free. Super, super nice, and the tenant was really nice and helpful. <laughs> and so the eggs. Two hundred and fifty steps. <laughs> oh, this feels weird. Because you have like gravity. 
really strange feeling. actually a lot easier than it sounds but it's just still so weird just walking because you definitely feel the lean when you're walking it's crazy you actually can go inside and see the bells as well which is pretty cool actually more than just the Leaning Tower here in this complex. It's actually like a religious complex because there's a cathedral right there behind me and then there is the baptistry right there behind me. It's actually really beautiful outside. There's two different styles. You can see like a Romanesque style and then a Gothic style. So it's kind of cool to see two different styles in one place. What I couldn't see earlier was the Campo Santo, which is right there, which is basically like a cemetery crypt which I'm going to go in there right after I check out the cathedral. Translate as well as it does in person, but it's very, very pretty. You enter into the Campo Santo, which literally translates into Holy Field, because they said that they actually took soil from Golgotha and they put it here in this cemetery. But it's so 
coming to Pisa, don't just come to see the tower. You need to come check out the square, the Piazza dei Cavalieri, or the Night Square. And the buildings here are so, so pretty. I'm pretty sure this one behind me is a university, but some of these have like frescoes on them. It's beautiful. <laughs> Walking the streets. I feel like I'm really in the Tuscan region. Like the yellow buildings and green shutters. <sighs> so fun. Alright, I am going to head back to Florence and say goodbye here. I had a nice little day trip exploring Pisa, just a little bit of slice of it, and I've always wanted to see the Tower of Pisa ever since I was super, super young, so it was a dream come true. But if you guys want to see what I get up to next, because I am still traveling Italy, don't forget to hit subscribe, and I will see you guys there.